And I think that's what this disruption is. You have the potential, Major Arcana, the tower. You have the potential to screw this up if you don't get yourself straight. Okay? What are you going to screw up? Here's the boom. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to call that, I'm going to call this reading the boom. Boom, <laughs> right? Here's the boom. King of Cups, the star, and the queen of cups. It don't get no more soulmate than that, my friend. It doesn't. The star is about purpose, purpose in your life. The star is about your understanding of a connection to a divine intelligence, a universal intelligence. It's about understanding divine orchestration. It's about understanding soulmate love. The king of cups and the queen of cups, this is soulmate love. There's nothing romantic about the king of cups and the queen of cups. There's not. There's romance in the lover's cards for sure, but there's nothing romantic. These guys are ancient, ancient agape love, deep agape love. It's that root love. And you have the king of cups and the queen of cups with the star sandwiched in between. Hope, faith, hope, faith, purpose, renewal of your faith in humanity, Taurus. Of your faith in humanity. Taurus, it's Dana, the gypsy psychic. How are you? I'm back. And I'm back with a vengeance. All right, you guys, we're going to do an awesome, awesome reading for Taurus. I'm Taurus. Taurus sun, Pisces moon, Pisces rising, and Pisces Venus. But Taurus sun. Taurus is my front man, right? Taurus is my front man. All right, you guys, it's going to work like it always works. I'm going to shuffle. I'll pray. I will lay out at least 15 cards. I'm going to clarify. If the clarification process gets too lengthy or too in-depth, I will fast forward on camera and um, we'll pick up right where we leave off, okay? All right, you guys, let's see what Spirit has to say, okay? Let's see what Spirit has to say for the collective of Taurus. Now, Taurus, I always say this, you know, you can watch YouTube uh, tarot card readings till the cows come home, as we would say in the South, till you're blue in the face, but you're never going to get the understanding, the wisdom, the guidance and the confirmation that you're looking for with a general tarot card reading. The only way to know your real story is to have your cards read, okay? Me, anybody else, don't care, won't be offended, but get your cards read. Stop binge watching tarot card readings and find out your story for real, for true, okay? All right, you guys, let's do this. Spirit, source, universal energy, I have Taurus with me. Spirit, the collective of Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? What's going on in the planets, Spirit, that is going to dictate certain behaviors and certain, certain gravitational pulls, Spirit? What is in store for Taurus? What does Taurus have to look out for? What do they need to look forward to? And most importantly, how do they navigate for their best and highest good? Spirit, please use me as a clean and clear vessel by which to not only interpret these messages, but to explain them as well. Please give me the eyes to see and the ears to hear. Spirit, tell me where the stopping point is for Taurus. I will cut three times and I'll pull directly off the top. Spirit, where is the stopping point for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? What does Taurus need to know about their present and their future, about themselves, their lives, in their direction. All right. I think that's good right there. Let's do it right there, you guys. All right. Let's go. One. Okay. Two. Three. Well, who am I to argue? Who am I to argue? It was weird, but whatever. Bottom of the deck. Justice with truth. All right. First card out is... Is that going to work for you guys? Oh, I can't do it all slanted like that. All right. Okay. Foundation and Achievements, War of Wands, okay? Foundation and Achievements, 
the Four of Wands. Harmony, happiness, structure, stability in your life. They're all meant to be read in the upright. The Ace of Wands, passion ignited in this deck. This is inspirational, new, um, tons of potential type of, of opportunities. Stand your ground with the Seven of Wands. All right, so there is your, your foundation, okay, the harmony in your life. Some kind of passion or inspiration happens. Stand your ground with the Seven of Wands to the Three of Cups. This is rejoice and celebration. It's um, community, family, friends coming together and um, toasting things. The Lovers with the Six of Trump. Material Harvest with the Nine of Pentacles. This is self-sufficiency, independence. It is success. It is just rewards for your hard work. Trapped in fear with the Eight of Swords. Trapped in fear is um, a self-imposed mental imprisonment all up in your head and can't, can't find a way out. But you're really not. Okay? It's self-imposed. Triumph with the chariot. This is rolling forward. This is the metaphorical energy that's going to take you, or literal energy, that's going to take you to the beginning of a new journey of some sort. Hope with 17. This is the star. Yeah. To the three of wands, partnerships and alliances. Teamwork, collaboration. Um, the Three of Wands is about some foresight. The Three of Wands is about um, the future. Recognition and reward with the Three of Pentacles. Okay, yeah, double right there. Three of Pentacles is teamwork and collaboration. Working on something. Six of Swords, moving on. What do we got over here? Eight of Wands, movement, action, and change. The High Priestess, your intuition. Obstacles and challenges with the Five of Wands. Spiritual strength with the Six of Wands. Mental conflict with the Two of Wands. The Hierophant, your card, Taurus. To disruption with the Tower and the Sun. Wow. Wow. I have to take these. Look at all these major arcanas. Oh my God. Look at this. Are you guys seeing this? And fulfillment of wishes and patience and planning. I feel like I need to take that one. What's next? Ha! Huh, the magician. I can't believe this. Oh my God. And the fool. Oh my gosh. Okay. Then we go back to the Nine of Swords, right? Which is repeating because we got the Eight of Swords there and it's going to start telling me the story again. Oh my gosh, Taurus. There are so many major arcanas in this root spread. What do we got? We got the Lovers. We have the Star. We have the Chariot. We have the High Priestess. We have the Hierophant. We have the, t the Tower. We have the, oops, the tower, the sun. We have, oh my gosh, we have strength. What's that? Nine. Solitude, 10. Patience, 11. The emperor, 12. Transformation with death, 13. Oddly enough, it's card 13. Huh? Awareness with the magician and new beginnings with the fool. Holy schmoly, you have, I lost count, like 13 or 14 major arcanas in a root spread with half the deck left over? Wow. 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 Oh, this is going to be big, you guys. Are you ready for this? This is going to be big. Holy schmoly. So, I swear, 
And if it bothers you or offends you, I'm inappropriate. If it bothers you or offends you, I'm irreverent. If it bothers you or offends you, now is a good time to um, just change the channel. Okay? Just change the channel. All right. Everybody else who's thick-skinned and can handle what I got to dish out, let's read this phenomenal reading right here. All right. So we start out with the four of wands, right? This is foundation and achievement. This is structure, foundation, stability, and harmony in your life, in your home, okay? In your home or in your life, possibly in relationships, okay? Spirit, tell me what the passion that's ignited right here is and what does it have to do with foundations and achievements? The three of cups, reuniting, celebrating, coming together with other people, foundation and achievements, passion ignited. What, what is the root of the foundation and achievements here? What's the root of this? What is the root of foundations and achievements? I don't need to know right now. Okay. So passion is ignited three of cups. There's a, there's a, a strong sense of friendship or community or um, celebration of some sort. Stand your ground. Why stand your ground? Why the seven of wands? Challenge, protecting yourself. Why stand your ground? The Queen of Pentacles to the Four of Cups in reverse. Stand your ground. Queen of Pentacles, Four of Cups in reverse. All right, Taurus, this is what's going on. Check this out. This is fucking phenomenal. Phenomenal, Taurus. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Okay, foundations and achievements right here. This is the four of wands. This is home, marriage, family, harmony, happiness, stability, and structure in your life. It's the first card out, sets the tone for the whole reading. What is this about? Well, the three of cups says you're going to meet someone, and ace of wands says you're going to click. You're going to click, and there is passion, okay? Just passion. You just know it. If you've never had that with someone, it kind of ruins you a little bit because when you have had that thing with someone, it's hard to match that. <laughs> it's hard to match that. And everybody that you date or talk to, it's like, that's not there, man. That's not there. You're hunting and searching and waiting for that, right? That's what's coming to you. That's what's coming to you, okay? So someone, I'm not going to say, someone is coming into your life, okay? I'm not saying you're going to meet someone new. I'm not saying someone's coming back from the past. All I'm saying is that at this point in the reading, you are meeting someone and it just ticks your boxes, Taurus. Ticks your boxes, okay? Seven of Wands comes in and says, stand your ground. But why? Why stand your ground? Well, I think what this is talking about is it's not stand your ground like the card says. It's more of the seven of wands, which is about um, guarding and protecting, right? So guarding yourself, queen of pentacles, because you are in your power, okay? You're in your power. You're grounded. You're feeling good. You're looking good. You're smelling good, right? You're in your power, to the Four of Cups in reverse. Four of Cups in reverse is apathy, stubbornness. But in this case, it's apathy, okay? So what is this saying? Well, someone's coming into your life that is going to just be kapow, boom, Taurus, boom, okay? But your propensity to blow this off, okay? To blow it off, to not pay it any attention, to, um, for whatever reason, right? For whatever reason, just kind of blow it off, right? Because you're rolling hard as the Queen of Pentacles. Rolling hard as the Queen of Pentacles. And you might have a propensity to be apathetic towards this connection, okay? Rejoice in celebration. You're meeting someone. Someone is coming into your life. I want to point out the Three of Cups is about reunion, but it's also about meeting people, friends, community, okay? You're meeting someone. To the devil in reverse. Major Arcana speaking to you, Taurus. It says it's time to release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Well, the apathy towards any kind of relationship, okay? Release your limiting beliefs, Taurus. Okay. Why? 
The Six of Trump, the lover's card, is coming into you. This is foundation achievement your life. This is something profound that is about to happen to you. We have 14 freaking major arcana in this reading. This is profound and spirit tells you, watch yourself that you don't turn a blind eye to this out of being apathetic. Lovers, soulmate, major arcana love is coming in for you. The five of wands in reverse. This is about an increased focus on goals. It's also about avoiding responsibility. And it's kind of the same thing right here. The increased focus on goals is for you to be able to see this and acknowledge it and catch it when it happens. The avoidance of responsibility is kind of the same thing, right? Being like, nah, I don't want a relationship. Um, yeah, he's cute. She's adorable. They're both hot. But... I just really, I'm, I'm rocking it as the Queen of Pentacles, and I just don't have time for all of this. I'm sorry, but I just don't, right? Watch out for that, okay? Watch out for that. Material harvest with the Nine of Pentacles. This is your self-sufficiency and your independence, okay? It's the Nine of Pentacles. This is material harvest. It goes right along with the Queen of Pentacles, okay? Um, this is about harvesting that which makes you feel good and right and proper and secure about your life, okay? Two of Pentacles in reverse. Um, perhaps there's been some financial issues, some of you guys, um, but the Two of Pentacles in reverse is about being off kilter or off balance. To the Eight of Cups, um, Eight of Cups is in, in the upright like this is about just, it's, it's that same energy as up here with the apathy and over here the avoidance of responsibility, right? This guy's walking away from eight golden cups. I mean, just the cups themselves are worth something, right? Let alone the wine that's in them. And he's just like disgusted. He's just like, Ugh, I just... Don't even want it. Just keep it. Just keep it. Take it. Keep it. I don't even want it. And that is the attitude that spirit is warning you against. Okay? Okay. Let me move these out of the way. Trapped in fear. Inside your head. In your own mental imprisonment. What's the mental imprisonment? I've been hurt in the past. I don't want any more bullshit out of anybody. Women suck. Men suck. I don't want any part of this. I, I The last relationship that I had did a number on me and totally mind fucked me. And I'm just not... The, the Eight of Swords is about a mind fuck. For real. And it's just like... Ugh, don't even. Well, Spirit comes on top of you with the moon in reverse and says... It's time to deal with your repressed emotions. It's time to break out of this apathetic, disinterested state of being that you're in. Deal with your repressed emotions and release your fears about relationships and engage. Five of Cups in reverse. It is time to move on from feelings of loss or regret, regret or despair or disappointment, disappointment. It's time to move on. Why? Well, because Major Arcana 7, Trump 7, the, the chariot, says it is time to go. It is time to go towards what it is the Spirit is trying to divinely orchestrate in your life. And they are. This is divine orchestration. The lovers being soulmate energy. And as you see throughout the rest of this reading, it'll reiterate itself over and over and over again. Now, uh, e, uh, uh, uh. let's talk about soulmates real quick. Okay. Not, this is definitely romantic. Okay. But not every soulmate that comes into your life is romantic. And human nature often mistakes that recognition and understanding that you guys have spent some time together. You have held space with one another in some kind of previous lifetime. That knowing, that soul knowing in our human journey here, we immediately put romantic love on it, right? And it's not always romantic love. Also, 
very few and far between are two soulmates, two members of the same soul tribe that go through these cycles over and over and over again with one another because we came here to do something. So we, we co-mingle with each other throughout the lifetime, throughout the life cycles until we hit what we're supposed to be doing and it's completed and we don't have to do it anymore. Okay. Very few and far between are two soulmates on the same tracks headed in the same direction. Oftentimes, most of the time, soulmates intersect with your life because either they need to remind you of something or you need to remind them of something because somehow, some way, you help each other stay on track and remind each other um, on a soul level of what it is we came here to get done in the first place, okay? Dana's philosophy, <laughs> philosophy 101, the gypsy psychic 101. So just because there is a soul mate coming into your life does not mean that it is forever and always. Amen. Could it mean that? Sure. Let's hope so. But it doesn't always mean that. It means that a significant relationship is coming into your life to take you to the next trailhead of your journey. Okay? So this is a brand, and hence we have the fool down here. It's a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life. And it is divinely orchestrated. It's where you're supposed to go and it's what you're supposed to do. But you're apathetic. And spirit needs you to put in the self-control, the willpower, and the determination. You deposit that into the chariot and the doors pop open and it's like, let's go. What is that? You have to come out of your apathetic, walled-off state of being to be able to engage in this opportunity that's coming to you. Okay? The star, it is purposeful in your life. Major Arcana, Spirit speaking to you. It is purposeful in your life. It is your path. True. True. It is your path and your destiny, and it is purposeful in your life. The Hermit. The Hermit says, sit with me, and let's talk about this. I know you're scared. I know you're apathetic. You're stubborn. I know you don't want to get hurt again. You don't want to be vulnerable again. I know your fears. Sit with me and let's talk about them. Let's talk about them. Let's work them out. And I will illuminate for you the next step of the journey. That's an invite from Spirit with the Hermit card. Because this is purposeful in your life and you have to be prepared for it. Why? The world, your entire, everything is going to change. Everything, your everything is going to change. It's the end of the old cycle, the apathetic cycle. It's the end of everything in the beginning of something brand new. True. What is it? It's partnerships and alliances. Threes. Three. 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 And I think we had another three in here as well. Partnerships and alliances. This is you coming together with someone else. Possibly more than someone else. Maybe this person has, maybe this person has um, children. Maybe this person has some kind of extra peripheral thing, but nevertheless, it's partnerships and alliances. To the Eight of Pentacles. The Eight of Pentacles is about mastering your talents. It is. See, the dude in this card, you all see that? The guy in this card, he started, he's banged out seven pentacles, right? He's working on eight. And behind him, he has a small one and then bigger and bigger and bigger and better and bigger and better. And he's doing eight now and he's almost ha he almost has it mastered. And he's putting the wood to the fire and he's learning how to handle his business. And that's what this is for you. It's time to gain mastery, Taurus, of 
all of these lessons that you have learned in your life that have made you cold, stubborn, and apathetic. Instead of being cold, stubborn, and apathetic, take those lessons, compound them, and build upon them in your future. Partnerships and alliances. Use what you know to build new. Okay? Recognition and reward. Three. Right? Three. Let me tell you, number three. Three is about initial achievement, growth, creativity, expression, communication, and friendship. And you have threes all over this reading. Recognition and reward. This is teamwork and collaboration. It's the three of pentacles. Teamwork and collaboration, partnerships and alliances, building upon what you know already to build something strong for the future in the energy of the lovers. Trump six, right? The lovers card. Again, more soulmate connection here. You have to move on. You have to move on, Taurus. Move on from what? Ace of Cups in reverse, repressed emotions. Hurt feelings and repressed emotions. You have to move on. It's time to move on. It's time, Taurus. It's time. Prince of Swords in, Princess of Swords in reverse. To me, this feels like apathy too. She's about all talk, no action, undelivered promises, right? And that is why you feel the way that you feel, right? All talk, no action, undelivered promises. It's all just a bunch of bullshit. And quite frankly, I'm not interested. I don't know about you, but that's how I feel for sure. Three, again, of wands. Have some foresight. Look into the future. Your ships are coming in, Taurus. There's, there is a delivery being made to you, okay? And you have to be ready for it. But you're not going to be ready for it if you remain apathetic or stubborn. The tower. Upheaval and chaos to the four of wands in reverse. It's time for a transition. It's time for a transition. The tower, whatever it is in your life, could be multiple things, could be your mama or your daddy, okay? But whatever it is in your life that has made you decide that you are not ever going to be vulnerable to another human being again in your life, <laughs> whatever that tower was for you, it's time to transition out of that with the four of wands in reverse justice because it's trying to be divinely orchestrated in your life it is justice it's going to bring justice universal law into your life it's time to go it's time to move on why the wheel of fortune bro the wheel of fortune sis Things are a changing. The wheel of fortune is divine orchestration. That is the card. It's divine orchestration. It's good luck. It's movement forward. It's a turning point in your destiny. And that's what spirit's trying to orchestrate in your life, but you have to participate. The hangman in reverse. Your resistance. Your resistance is causing stalling and delays. This can't happen without you. You have to participate. It cannot happen without you. Your free will has you in a place of apathy and stubbornness. Your free will has you there. If your free will will deal with that, be cognizant and aware of what's going on around you and be open and receptive to this new thing coming into your life, then spirit can work everything out and boom, there it is. The Ace of Wands. You meet someone. The Three of Cups. You meet someone. But you got to play, Taurus. It's no game if you don't play. All right, 
I hope all these, I'm just going to hold them like this because I don't want to mess up their order, okay? When you get this and understand this, internalize this, and actually handle this issue in your life right here, Taurus, there's going to be very quick, very quick movement, action, and change in your life. This Wheel of Fortune back here is going to start rolling, rolling, like zero to 60, right? To the four of pentacles and it's going to lead you to a place of stability and control four of pentacles is also saying kind of get control of yourself a little bit get control of yourself rein yourself in you ain't all that right <laughs> rein yourself in and um be open to what spirit's trying to do in your life it's leading you to structure foundation and stability in in your life princess of cups there's going to be a communication um, of some sort, a soft, sweet communication of some sort, um, could be anything. Could it be from the past? Sure. It could be a phone call. Sure. It could. Could it be brand new? Sure. You can be in Target shopping for laundry detergent and somebody else is shopping for laundry detergent. And you say, bro, you know, if you just spend a little bit more on the tide, your clothes be a lot better, a lot better. And he'd be like, well, you know, I never really knew any difference. And you're like, oh, man, yeah, big, huge difference, right? Huge difference between tide and, you know, great value, <laughs> right? And you guys start talking, right? Anything. But there is some kind of inter in exchange interchange some kind of exchange that is going to happen that is going to lead you to victory progress and success in your life spirit comes in with the high priestess major arcana two that your intuition right your intuition is always your higher power whatever it is that you call it it's always your higher power leading you in the direction that you can that you should go your intuition, when you come to this turning point, the turning point that is, and I'm, I'm, I'm busy, right? When you come to that turning point, lean on your intuition. It's going to lead you through your obstacles and challenges, which is everything that we just talked about in this reading, okay? Spirit is going to help you work through it, okay? Follow your intuition always, always, always. Your gut instinct is never wrong. Now, I asked what this was about. What are these obstacles and challenges? Well, patience came out and completion, okay? So what this is talking about, let's see, and it's followed by spiritual strength, okay? So what this is talking about is that your obstacles and challenges in this situation that you need to rely heavily on your intuition to guide you through, right? This is going to show you with patience. It's going to, you're going to patiently understand, okay, Taurus? You're going to patiently understand that this cycle of your life is a completion, that it's over. And the Nine of Wands comes on top of it and talks about your spiritual strength, okay? This is you knowing that you know this person. Soulmate, this is you knowing that you know this person with intuition in the high priestess, right? You know that you know this person, right? And your obstacles and challenges are obviously everything that we've just talked about. Patience and completion. This to me speaks of soulmate love right here. I mean, deep, deep, deep past lifetime love. And they don't always have to be your lover. They could be your kid. They could be your parent. They could be um, anybody that is part of your soul tribe. You're, you have been waiting for this person for a long time, a long time, whether you realize it consciously or not, whether you're married or not, this person you have been waiting for, for a long time. And they're about to enter your life, but you, you, you have to be accepting. You have to be receptive. Completion. This is the cycle completion. 
of what you had to learn and what they had to learn before the two of you could come together and teach each other. Okay? Spiritual strength. This represents to me also the soulmate element that's happening here. Right? Because your soul knows their soul. And the spiritual strength aspect of it is... is Understanding that there is a spiritual capacity way beyond what it is that you understand in your humanness right now. That's what that card said to me, okay? Mental conflict with the Two of Swords at a crossroads. Yes, you are. You are at a crossroads. And you are going to be conflicted when this happens. You are. Wisdom, Taurus comes in. This is about using your spiritual discernment to understand what's happening here. The Hierophant also talks about a soul contract from your past. A soul contract from your past. Talks about commitment, marriage. It is the card of Taurus. Death in reverse, personal transformation, personal transformation, clarifying the Hierophant. What's the personal transformation? Well, the anxiety and the despair that you've been holding on to, two nines, double nines. The anxiety and despair that you were holding on to flips into wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. As soon as you let your guard down, Taurus, as soon as you let your guard down, this is going to happen. As soon as you let your guard down. Wow. Disruption with the tower. What's the, what's the disruption? Well, the Prince of Swords in reverse. Okay? Prince of Swords in reverse is illogical thinking. It's a lacking organizational logic. It's also about... Um, disregard for consequences, but that's not this. It's also about possibly not returning communication or snuffing off communication, right? Maybe some, maybe, maybe someone, again, let's go back to Target, right? Maybe someone in Target, you pass them by and you make eye contact and there's that thing there, right? That thing, just a, a thing. But you think to yourself, oh man, that's just me. They're not attracted to me. How could they be attracted to me? Um, that, that's, it's all in my head. That's just me. It's only me. And you just keep on going. You just keep on going, right? It's, I think, not returning communication, okay? And I think that's what this disruption is. You have the potential, Major Arcana, the tower. You have the potential to screw this up if you don't get yourself straight, okay? What are you going to screw up? Here's the boom. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to call that, I'm going to call this reading the boom. Boom, right? Here's the boom. King of Cups, the star, and the Queen of Cups. It don't get no more soulmate than that, my friend. It doesn't. The star is about purpose purpose in your life. The star is about your understanding of a connection to a divine intelligence, a universal intelligence. It's about understanding divine orchestration. It's about understanding soulmate love. The king of cups and the queen of cups, this is soulmate love. There's nothing romantic about the king of cups and the queen of cups. There's not. There's romance in the lover's cards for sure. But there's nothing romantic. These guys are ancient, ancient agape love. Deep agape love. That deep love that you have for everybody that you love in different ways, right? You love your dog different than you love your kids, right? 
You love your kids different than you love your spouse. You love your spouse different than you love your mom and your daddy, right? It's the agape love. It's that root love. And you have the king of cups and the queen of cups with the star sandwiched in between. Hope, faith, hope, faith, purpose, renewal of your faith in humanity, Taurus. Of your faith in humanity. The sun. Happiness, success, and vitality. That's what you're going to experience. That's what's coming into your life, Taurus. But you got to let it. Conflict and defeat. All of this in the back. The apathy, the stubbornness, the wall. Right? That's your own defeat. You're defeating yourself with that energy. Strength comes on top of it and says you can overcome old fears and conditionings. You can muster the courage to do what needs to be done here. We need you to do your part because we cannot make this happen without your cooperation. You can do this. Sit with us in the hermit energy and let's talk. You need to talk? Let's talk. Let's talk about things. What are we going to talk about? Your hopelessness, your abandonment, your healing with the temperance, how to take inspired action to fix your, your obstacles, your, 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 your conflicts. Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Let's, let's sort through the massive loss that you've had in the past to the nine of wands in reverse and let's sort through your self-defensive behaviors. It's an invite. The hermit is an invitation from spirit to talk it out. I mean like go for a walk, go for a drive, go someplace quiet, do it in your front room if you can, whatever your thing is, but talk it out. Talk out why you don't want to be vulnerable. Talk it out and spirit will illuminate the direction that you should go. Patience with the uh, hanged man. Again, this goes back to, for me to the whole soulmate thing, right? You have needed to have a lot of patience waiting for this moment to happen in your life. And the emperor comes on top of it. This is about the authority, the structure, the foundation of your life. I think this is the person that's coming towards you. The person that's coming towards you is going to help you make sense of everything. They are. That's why it's the masculine energy, right? Because that's what y'all do, right? Women will talk about things and men fix it, right? Men are trying to fix your issues and you're just like, no, man, I can fix it myself. I just want to bitch about it for a minute. Just let me fucking bitch for a minute, right? <laughs> but you guys try to fix it. You're like, what about this? And what about that? What about this? And we're like, no, <laughs> that's not what I'm doing. <laughs> this person's going to help you make sense of everything. Six of Wands in reverse, a lack of success, a lack of reward. Ten of Cups in reverse, broken feelings, broken home, broken family. Not no more. Not no mo. Not no mo with the sun, Taurus. Happiness, success, and vitality. Am I driving y'all absolutely insane with these bangs yet? Happiness, success, and vitality. That is what is coming towards you, us, you. The Four of Swords. So think very carefully, okay? Think very carefully. Plan very carefully. Three of Swords in reverse. Let it go. Let the heartbreak go. Let the pain, the grief, the sorrow, let it go. Six of Pentacles. Because you have the opportunity to step into something that is the giving and receiving and the sharing of prosperity in life with someone who is true. Someone who's going to love you and you're going to love them like neither one of you ever have before. To the Eight of Pentacles. Master your lessons, Taurus. Master them and apply them to your life. So you can build and engage and create a beautiful, beautiful life. 
the Ace of Cups, new beginnings in love, emotional rebirths. I mean, it's just Spirit's telling you, if you will let this go, we will show you that not everybody is going to hurt you. It's a transformation, Taurus. An absolute and utter transformation of you, of your life, of your belief in humanity. It's an utter and complete transformation. It's the end of what was and the beginning of what will be. Hence, the world. The closure of one cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. And guess what? The Nine of Cups says fulfillment of wishes. Wishes fulfilled. Comfort, happiness, and satisfaction in your life like you've never known before. Again, patience. We've had patience in this reading, I think three, maybe four times. Patience and planning, right? You've, you, you're you due this, Taurus. You're due this. It's time. It's time. The magician, you have manifested this. Be aware of where your thoughts go because where your thoughts go your life will follow at the root of this reading your thoughts are thanks but no thanks I'm apathetic I don't want to be vulnerable I don't want to engage everybody sucks and I just would rather not quite frankly right be aware of the thoughts that you manifest in your head because what you think is what you will become, okay? What you think is what you will become. And if you want something like this in your life, if you want something like this in your life, you have to change the way that you think because you're attracting to you what you think. Change the way that you think. So this King of Pentacles can come into your life. The King of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles are the ultimate domestic partnership of the tarot. They both believe in the institution of love, family, marriage, 401ks, and vacations. Big screen TVs and good food, okay? They are the ultimate domestic partnership. We have the Queen of Pentacles up here, right? King and Queen of Cups, the King and Queen of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I know the King of Pentacles is the card of Taurus, but in this case, it is talking about your divine counterpart. Male, female, we got both of them here. Pick one. Or not. Doesn't matter to me. To the Four of Wands. The Four of Wands is the structure and the harmony of your life. It's marriage. It's started this reading. It started this reading. The Four of Wands, Foundation and Achievements. It's harmony in your life. It's relationships. It's marriage. To the two of swords, you, two of swords, you are at a very serious crossroads in your life, Taurus. How you handle yourself and this from this point forward will dictate your future for a very long time. Get out of the Eight of Swords, wherever that was, get out of the Eight of Swords and have a new perspective about things. Because Spirit wants to give you a new beginning and a new journey in your life. They want to give you the opportunity that you've been searching for but have never been successful in securing for yourself. It's a quantum leap in your life. And it also represents the spiritual journey, right? Not this fool, not this one, but the fool in the regular decks, right? The fool doesn't know where he's going, what he's doing, how he's going to get there, what's going to happen when he gets there. He knows nothing. All he knows is he's being called to do something and he does it. That's the, that epitomizes the spiritual journey. He has no control. A spiritual journey is about giving up absolute and utter control in doing the things that you don't understand because you're called to do them because you feel it in your chest and you feel it in your gut. It's your intuition that's leading you. It's leveling up in your spiritual journey. That's for sure. Hmm. New beginning and a new journey. I asked, what is this new beginning in this new journey? Where is this taking Taurus? 
change with the five, which is the Hierophant, which is Taurus. Okay. Change. And love, which is six, which is the um, the uh, lover's card. Lover's card is here twice, three times right there. This is an absolutely phenomenal reading, Taurus. I hope this is my reading. I do. I can identify with this, and I hope that this is my reading um, because I'm I'm not settling for anything less than that that thing that thing. You know it when you feel it, and I'm not settling for less than that. So I hope you too will not settle for less than that. This is coming in your direction, Taurus. Beautiful, amazing, amazing, amazing life. Love, change, new beginnings and new journeys, manifesting, transformation. You've been waiting for this your whole life. Sit with spirit and ask about things. Work things out. Strength. You can do it. You can overcome your old fears and conditionings. You can do it. The sun waiting for you. Waiting, waiting. Spirit is just waiting to give you the sun and the star. Hope, faith, purpose in your life. Purpose in your life. Follow your intuition. Never ever doubt your intuition and it is going to lead you to a soulmate love relationship. Wow, Taurus. Amazing. Not only did you have like 14 root major arcana, but we had major arcana all through the clarifying cards. What does that mean? It means that spirit is actively moving in your life. They're actively moving. They're trying to situate things. They're trying to get everybody to be where they're supposed to be when they're supposed to be there. And you know how hard that is to do? I mean, of course, it's beyond my scope of understanding. But I can't imagine, especially when you have a resistant Taurus that's like, no, screw all that. I want none of that. Right? And spirits are like, oh, my God take the fucking cup already, right? I mean, ah, Taurus, this is beautiful. This is beautiful. I hope you enjoyed it. You want me to read your cards? You can hit me up at the gyps, the, 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 you want me to read your cards? You can hit me up at the gypsypsychic.com. It is the only way to schedule an appointment with me. Um, if it's not me, pick somebody else, get your cards read. Don't stay in limbo. Don't stay wondering if this is your story or not your story. Because quite frankly, it might not be your story. It's somebody's story. For sure, somebody's story. But it might not be your story. Okay? So don't let this fill you with any kind of false hope. Get your cards read. Namaste.